Half his office food. Uh, I know how he feels. You've just thrown a greasy sausage sandwich down your neck. You could always eat no matter what we're kicking off. Sorry, it took me ages to find a parking space. Don't even get me started on the charges. You've not missed anything. Right. Mr and Mrs Dingle, Mr Bailey, sorry for calling you in so early. Is she OK? How's she doing? Have you seen her this morning? I have. She's heavily medicated, but otherwise relatively settled. Can we see her? Oh, she won't want to see me, of course. We have a date for moving her. I'm afraid it's tomorrow. To that place down south? No, you can't. We're not ready. She's not ready. It's Red Hill Mental Health Facility. It's a really excellent place. I'm sorry we couldn't find a bed nearer to home, but... You're sorry? We've only just got her back and you're taken away from us again. I know it's not ideal, but there really are no other options. I don't care what they say. I'm not standing by and watching my daughter being taken away. Look, I hear you, love, but what can we do? I found a private place. It's in Manchester. OK, it's a bit of a trek, but at least it's not flaming Surrey. That'll cost thousands. Well, then, we'll put everything together that we've got. We'll sell things that need to be sold. We'll ring the bank, call in our favours, and do anything that we can. <laughs> Even if that were possible, she would need a referral and then an assessment. That won't happen before tomorrow. But it might stop them taking her away straight off. I don't want you getting your hopes up. Oh, Zach, if she goes tomorrow, all hope's lost. So until then, I'm going to explore every option. Five thousand pounds. And that's the amount per month. A week. I say, and uh, when could you take her? Thanks. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'll call you back. 